some years. The life form started from the horses. And as the oceans started, the algae started growing. And then there were plants, and then there were animals, fish and everything. And all of this came about two million of years. Everyone produced the religious sensitivity, but in some sense, it says this planet has evolved as it is now over 4.5 billion years. That's when we have all these forms that we have. So we have had very wonderful climate, but it, it, at the origin, it was very cold. It was cold because when we have plants and animals, we breathe what we call in some uh, chemicals and we breathe out some chemicals. Some of the chemicals that we, we breathe in is oxygen and out comes the carbon dioxide, isn't it? And then when you fat, you breathe out methane. Okay? So there comes methane also comes in. And then when other plants decompose, they have nitrogen. And there will be compounds like nitrous oxide if you come out. Okay? So all this green greenhouse gases came. And they were in balance for many years. Without the greenhouse gases, the planet would be very cool. You would be living under minus 23 degrees Celsius planet. And we in Africa don't think we will survive a minus 23 degrees Celsius for life. So that tells you the usefulness of the greenhouse gases and they keep the earth warm. But things were that normal until about 1770 when a scientist known cannot discover they cannot end it, they cannot suck. And the cannot circle was invented as the beginning of industrialization. So we started the automobiles, and the automobiles then we discovered that they can run, run on carbon uh, 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 liquids, like petroleum. And when it runs on petroleum, what comes out is carbon dioxide, the majority of it. Some oxygen will be burned, but not fully burned, so there will be natural oxygen coming out. There will be incomplete combustion of, of uh, petroleum, so there will be also methane, ethane, propane, et etc. Et concentration of these gases start to build. And this is where the limitation of science is, what my daughter was talking about, the uh, genomic, is that we don't know what we can do good and do bad with genomic yet, so we have to be very careful. But at the beginning, when this was started, we never thought that the space would be filled. The atmospheric space would be filled. So all the carbon dioxide is thought that space is bottomless and filled. So we, we, we skewed all the carbon dioxide and they have stayed in the atmosphere. Now, the 
carbon dioxide now young to pay in the sun. The sun radiates energy in all wavelengths. Okay? And some of them penetrate up to the ground. Now when they penetrate up to the ground, they are transformed into longer wavelengths. And when they are transformed into longer wavelengths, they are reflected back into space. And, and when longer wavelengths are infrared microwave, they cook with microwave. And you know how hot the microwave stove cooks, how fast it cooks. Yes, but you won't see it. It goes back. And it's absorbed by carbon dioxide. And again, we get it back. So the wavelength continues to be longer and longer, but it is bounced back and, and, and uh, very, very absorbed. So we have a pump, a pump of greenhouse gases. It absorbs this radiation and brings them back to the surface of the earth. And when they come back, energy is neither destroyed nor lost. So they find nitrogen, which is plentiful in the atmosphere. They find uh, oxygen, which is plentiful in the atmosphere. And they make these molecules begin to move faster and faster and heat hit one another as they bounce because of the change of uh, energy, kinetic energy. And that kinetic energy is transformed to heat. And it is the heat that comes from that bouncing of molecules in the atmosphere, which makes us call climate change. Climate Climate change is not the daily weather. Climate change is of the observation of any of the meteorological parameters like temperature, rainfall, humidity, and what have you, for over 30 years. You have to have a record of any of those parameters over 30 years. Then you put it together and see how they have behaved, the average of those parameters over 30 years. And normally we try to bundle them into seasons. January, February, March is one season. March, April, May, Mam is another season. Then June, July, August is another season. September, October, November, December, Sun is another season. That one is a little longer than the three months. When you bundle this and you now begin to look at the averages of this, then you begin to see whether with yields the average is increasing or the average is increasing. And it is that increasing or decreasing or neutral which we call climate change. Deviation from the neutral average is increasing. Certainly, to show the, the story, make the story short, in Kenya right now, <coughs> how many people have heard of PN? And anybody coming from PN? Yeah. No. PN is getting cold. If you go to PN, you'll find people wrapping themselves with blankets. It's too cold and it used to be. That used to be removed. In the many years back, the moon is becoming warmer. So we now need, don't need uh, 
coats. Eh? Or sweaters. But we now need that one in here. Now, that is the change. That change is not uniform. Let's give you just two examples. Right. You are back here maybe cooling down or warming up. It depends on the global circulation, global uh, mass circulation. And that depends on many things. What you have done to your environment, whether you have deforested it, whether you have planted it, new things, whether how you have done what you have done with the soil, what you have done with the soil, what you have done with the land cover, how you plow it, etc. etc. So briefly, that is climate change. Every became independent, Kenya population was 7 million. Today as we talk, we are 48.5 million and still increase at 2.3% finally. Alright? As we increase, we need to be fed, isn't it? We need to drive cars, isn't it? We need to live like the West. We need to have all the things that we see on TV. Yes? And we, you, you say, ah, those people live a good life, isn't it? And we have a right to look for those things. But we are concerned. consuming globally something like one and a half biologically available globally biologically available resources we are consuming a year. We are consuming more than the earth can produce. Okay? Since we are consuming more than the earth can produce, we have a great loss of biodiversity, we get loss of minerals, some minerals are now threatened to the point of extinction, and phosphorus is at the end point of depletion, and soon we will have critical loss to the extent that our banking population will not be supported by the biological system. That's the critical moment it is coming. And because of this, we have created several uh, things which are working against us. While we are enjoying the economic prosperity and the good life and what are you, we are also introducing pollution. Because of the increasing carbon dioxide, we are moving into an era 
where even the productivity of the plants are going to change. The fisher plant, when we have by 2030, 2050, when we have the carbon dioxide concentration at 515 parts per million, the fisher plant will have big stock, less protein, and less essential minerals. So we will introduce a new type of disease. We will have hypertension coming up, we will have diabetes coming up, etc. Et Nutrition will be also altered. We will have a lot of people who are going to suffer from malnutrition. Right now in Kenya, it is drought in some areas. And we have seen in the TV how many people are suffering and are dying, and how many cattle are dying. All of that is because of our human consumption of this. What I want to talk about next is to say that we are using so much resources to the extent that we have to begin to think and re educate ourselves. And the education which is now needed is not of the straightforward mind, make, and dumb. That is the, 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 the education system. I'm not moving into circular. Economy. In satellite 